welcome back to my channel. It's Martha. I just got home. I was in Silver Lake last night. I drove over there to hang out with Luda and my friend Cindy and we ended up going out, staying out late, hanging out with our friend Hunter. And then we went to Fred 62, which is the diner at like 1 a.m. And you know, you're just like there for a while. And then today I slept until almost nine, like 8.45. It was really beautiful outside. So we hung out outside, met up with our friend Hunter and got Buddha all day baby and he's watching this dog. So we went to the dog park in Silver Lake and our one friend was there that I know through Cindy and Luda and they have a Frenchie pug mix. I'm obsessed with pugs. They are my favorite dog ever. And it's so cute. He looks like this. He is so stinking cute and squishy. That was it and I just got back and I'm mixing up some bloom greens. This is the mango flavor. Luda got bloom greens and I tried them at her house and they're the best ones I've ever had. They really are coconutty so they don't taste like crappy. I don't know, so I've had one from Whole Foods that's just like, it doesn't taste very good. Oh, it's really mango-y. Hmm, I wasn't expecting that. It's pretty good though. Okay, anyways, I wanna make muffins while I'm the only one at the house. So my mom makes these protein muffins that are so good. And she sent me the recipe for them and I just got a cute muffin pan. Okay, they're protein muffins and the base is Kodiak pancake mix, which I just got. So let me show you my cute muffin. Hello, she's so darling. She's silicone, so you just pop them out. All right, this is what we're working with. Okay, so first we are going to preheat the oven to 350. And then we start with the wet ingredients. So I'm gonna start with the two bananas and I already squished them in the peel because I feel like when I like squeeze them with the fork, sometimes it's really hard. I'm gonna try to give like a little life update while I do this because you know, that's the rage on TikTok right now. But anyways, I signed a lease. I signed a lease for a new apartment, apartment that is all my own. I'm having mixed feels about it a little bit. Like I'm super excited for my own space and not have to share because I don't know, I can't remember like the last time I talked about my living situation here, but I've been living with Scotty and another guy. And when I first moved in, it was me and three other guys, including Scotty. So the living situation's just like changed around a few times. It's always been like people that, never anyone like really random that lived with us. It was always someone that we knew or like one person in the house already knew. And so it was super chill, just like Scotty and I and the other guy. And now there's one more person that moved in and another guy's gonna move in in like five days. So something that was kind of annoying for me is I no, ha no longer have my super cute room that was like my office and my closet. And all my stuff is jammed in the room that Scotty and I share. And it looks incredibly chaotic. Cause you know, like as an influencer, a content creator, you get a lot of things in the mail. And so I already have like a lot of clothes. And then I have like my desk and then like just getting things in the mail, getting rid of stuff and moving. It's like crazy in there. So I'm excited to have my own space to decorate and not have that like crazy mess. But on that note, I'm kind of nervous to just live by myself, especially after living with so many people. Like I kind of, even though I hate it sometimes, like I hate when there's people here and I'm trying to be in my own zone. Okay, I have to focus on this. Okay, so I also had an egg. It's just distracting for me when I like, cause I like my space and my time alone. And so when there's people here and I want to be alone, it really throws me off. I mean, that's like a perk of living alone is it's all on you. You don't have to deal with anyone else. Now we're adding three fourth cup milk. But I do like like coming home and talking to someone and just like knowing someone's here, whether it was Scotty or a roommate. And so I'm gonna miss that. I'm actually living in the same building as one of my friends, which is lovely and I feel a lot less less alone but i also like i've always been someone who gets along with guys well and i'm gonna miss like masculine energy it makes me feel very safe like when i come home i feel super safe I feel safe sleeping next to scotty you know my boyfriend and like now that we're gonna be separating it's just gonna be an adjustment because before i lived here with scotty i lived with my best friend and we lived together we lived together for years because we lived together in college and we lived together here. There's a lot of like pros and cons to living alone. I am super excited to have my own space. 
most excited to decorate it. Also excited just to like be able to blast music really loud and film YouTube all the time and not worry about someone listening to me talk. Like, you know, just can be fully in the zone. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Okay, butter has been melted. Fourth cup of butter. Probably need to switch over from a fork to an actual mixing spatula. Okay, so another thing about living alone is it's expensive. So my rent is going up. It's not going up drastically because we have three people in a townhouse, so our rent was like decent. But not only does your rent go up, your expenses go up. So now I'm gonna be paying for like Wi-Fi and electricity and just like rent and like probably gonna have to get TV subscriptions or just stay on my families. Shout out my best friend Luda, I just use her Hulu login, that's great. I literally don't have furniture because I, I don't know if you guys remember, but when I moved in here, I had a cockroach thing happening in my last apartment. So I pretty much got rid of everything because also Luda and I didn't want to keep our furniture. And I had a full size bed and I was like, screw that. I didn't even really like it. So I got rid of the bed. Didn't even have a couch, got rid of, we sold everything. So I don't have a couch, I don't have a kitchen table. I have a lot that I need to get still. So it's all gonna be really pricey. And then like you don't have roommates to split that stuff with, but luckily for my job, I am blessed to be able to get a lot of things gifted and I'm really hoping I can like have some brands pull through. Okay, now I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla. And on the note of just changes, it's going to be very sad to be going from living with someone, even though we've been kind of in like the process of separating for a few months so there's been a ton of communication between the two of us which is great because it leaves things feeling more settled in a way i guess just i it's hard for me when things have like a sharp change and there's no space to talk about it it really makes me feel uneasy so there's been a lot of time to figure out what's going on but pretty much once i move out we're gonna be broken up okay now i'm gonna add two cups kodiak mix my family loves Kodiak mix. We always make these pancakes at home because they have protein in them. Oh, it's a whey protein too, so that's good. Okay, and then we're doing one scoop vanilla protein powder. My mom uses Quest Vanilla, which is the best. Like, Quest is the best for baking. And also, she used to make this like fluff ice cream stuff with Quest because it gets really fluffy when you mix it with ice. I don't have a vanilla right now, but I do have a cake batter and this one's pretty sweet. So I think this is a good choice. I'm gonna do a little more than a scoop. And then I'm also gonna put in a scoop of Agent Nature collagen and a bit of cinnamon. Okay, I don't know where all our freaking spatulas are, so I'm gonna use this. And now we stir it up. Okay, that looks great. Can you see it? Now we add chocolate chips. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot the brown sugar. She uses a half cup. I'm gonna use maybe just a fourth cup. Yeah, a little less than a half because I feel like they're already gonna be sweet. Do you guys think brown sugar is counted as a wet or dry ingredient? Ooh, the brown sugar made them smell really good. So now we use a half to one cup of chocolate chips. I'm gonna add half and see how it goes. These are actually chunks. The chocolate chunks from Whole Foods, they are so good. I think it could use more. That's good. Now we bake them for 16 to 18 minutes. These are kind of small, so I might do like 12 minutes and see what's going on. Okay, hi, I'm back. I just thought of another few things about moving that I wanted to say that I've been thinking about. And one of them is how this house is like so freaking gorgeous and modern. And who wouldn't love that? Like I obviously love it. It has been so nice. So I'm sad that I don't get to live in a place anymore with like these big, huge window walls, high ceilings, central AC, central heat, 
like nice white countertops. There's obviously like things you notice in new places because they cheap out in certain areas, but I'm pretty bummed to no longer live somewhere that's brand new. But the new place I have is like an older building, but they've renovated it over the years. And so while it's not modern by any means, it has a lot of like really cute charm to it and the bathroom's been updated, the kitchen's been updated and it has a dishwasher and also it has two air conditioning units instead of one like last time when I lived with Luda, we only had one air conditioning unit. It wasn't even in our bedroom, it was in the living room and so it gets so hot. I'm just gonna miss like and it's bright in here during the day. Now I'm gonna be somewhere that doesn't get quite as much sun just because of like how it's laid out. It faces south still so it gets sun but it's not gonna get sunlight all day long like this place would just because of how it's built. Like you get more sunlight in a modern place. You guys are gonna love my new place though. It is so cute. Hi guys, I just got a spray tan, can you tell? I feel like I'm looking very brown right now. Like it's not, like spray, okay yeah, it's looking like I kind of fell into a pile of dirt right now. But I went to the Sugared and Bronzed in Beverly Hills and then I went and got a Phil's coffee because it's right next to Sugared and Bronze pretty much on Beverly Drive, I think it is in Beverly Hills. I haven't gotten Phil's in a while. I usually go when I go to Core Power Yoga because it's in the same little shopping center. So good, they made it a little sweet this time, but it's delicious. You know what one of my toxic traits is? Well, this isn't the toxic trait I was gonna say, but I'm like all the other girls out there. When I go out and I see like a coffee shop, I'm like, fuck it. like. I wanna buy myself a coffee, even though I've already had one. It's just like something about having one in my hand helps me get through the day. And like, especially if I'm working, I'm sitting down at the desk. I want like the coffee to drink because it gets me in the mood. It's like lighting a candle and setting the vibe. It's like the coffee is there, you're ready to work. You just got the vibe going. So when I go out and I see a coffee shop, I'm like, oh, I've like done a lot today. I wanna get a coffee so I can just power through everything that's going on the rest of my day. And I feel like my caffeine tolerance is like decently high now, so that's probably why. I have more stuff to do today. And so I was like, you know, I'm gonna get a coffee. But my toxic trait, is that I will get a coffee and I hardly ever finish it. And so I always put it in the fridge and I end up having like one to two coffees that I've bought out and I stash them in the fridge and then I'll like have them the next day. So I always make them last, but like sometimes I, sometimes the ice melts if it's like a certain coffee and then it's gross so I don't have it and then I'll leave it in the fridge forever and I live with roommates like I said earlier kind of funny. So I'm gonna go home and finish my laundry and I'm renting a studio tomorrow to shoot some Valentine's Day stuff so I'm gonna prep for that. I need to pitch some brands to furnish my new apartment and you know just get stuff going and also clear stuff out because now I have, it's gonna be February 1st soon. I have like three weeks. Probably like three and a half weeks actually. It depends on how long he takes to clean up the apartment. But I wanna like start clearing out stuff for Goodwill because there's like some kitchen stuff that's in the house and I don't wanna leave anything behind. I wanna make sure I clear it all out even if it's something I don't want anymore. I'm gonna go home, do all the things. Classic Sunday, it's chilly outside. It keeps going like sunny and cloudy so it's a nice day to be inside and get some stuff done.